Welcome to Daniel's Inferno. My name is Daniel. Thank you for joining me today. If you have a moment, please like, subscribe, share, and join the conversation below. Today's video is a very somber one, sadly. There is a rise of hate and crime around the world, specifically the Western world. And right now, two incidents in Europe. Firstly, London Bridge had a, has been named a terrorist attack. There was a horrible knife crime. Guns are banned for the most part. There are almost no, well, guns in London, very little. And knife crime is the main avenue of crime and of hurting people. Two people were fatally stabbed and several others were wounded in a terrorist attack on the London Bridge Friday afternoon. Police shot and killed the male suspect at the scene after members of the police public intervened. Cressida Dick, Commissioner of the Metropolitan Pol Police, confirmed late Friday that two victims had passed. Three others were being treated in London Hospital. I am saddened and angry that our city of London has been again targeted by terrorism. Again targeted by terrorism. It's awful enough when it happens, but this is a consistent, constant pattern we are seeing. People of the UK, wake up. Fight back. I'm so happy to hear public intervened. I watched the video. They took that guy down when people, when enough people were there to get him. Dick said authorities were, were working as quickly as they could to notify the families. They can confirm that there was a device strapped to the body that was a hoax device. They continue to search to make sure there's no threat to the public. The attack in the Fisher Fishmongers Hall area of London uh, the police confronted the attacker five minutes after they were notified. There is going to be increased for, uh, presence for the foreseeable future. In the coming days, you will see more police armed and unarmed patrolling our streets to help reassure those who are understandably concerned. Hours after the attack, several people were stabbed in a shopping district of the Hague. This is the next part of the video. This you know, I said this was a pattern. Well, people of Europe, not just the UK, what is happening? Three people are injured in the in the Hague. Police said on Friday that three people had been wounded. The extent of their injuries is unclear. A number of police cars and ambulances on the road with crowds held back behind red and white cordon. In a separate message, the police said they were hunting a man aged 45 to 50 and described him using a Dutch term often replied to people of North African descent. Police said the man was wearing a shawl and a gray track suit. A spokesman said it was not clear whether the stabbing was a terrorist incident. I think we can make a fairly reasonable connection between what happened in London and what happened now in the Netherlands. And this is personal for me, all right? Because I have history, I have family, I have roots in the Netherlands and in the UK, okay? This is my home turf that these, this stuff is going on. What is happening? The attack took place at a shopping area. Oh, all the, the streets decked out with Christmas decorations. Oh. The Netherlands has already been shocked by a similar stabbing in Amsterdam a year ago where two, when two Americans were injured in a knife attack that prosecutors say had a terrorist motive. You know, today I was going to do a video on cultural, something more cultural. But this is very pressing. This is very important because I'm sorry to point this out, but this has started 
and has been an escalating issue after Europe opened their doors to the mass migrants of people. And all of these incidents, for the most part, not all, I apologize, all, most of these incidences, you can say, are from people who have migrated there in a recent span of time even. At least from the knowledge and what I've found, the information I've read, that is what I have been led to believe at this point. This is just awful. Honestly. Uh, how many people need to get injured? How many times does someone need to attack your cities to attack your citizens before you say, hmm, maybe, just maybe, it's time for us to reverse a decision or to make a new decision. It's time to defend. It's not time to roll over. It's not time to capitulate. Stop sucking the dicks of the left and start protecting your citizens. In Canada, we're seeing a rise of anti-Semitism. In Europe, we're seeing a rise of violent attacks. In America, we're seeing a rise of cancel culture. When do we say enough? Those things that I just talked about all have a common theme. We've already been through this once. Why are we letting it happen again? Let's not allow this type of violence to continue. Let's stop it. Let's put our foot down and say enough. WWJD, what would Jesus do? I know Jesus would turn the other cheek, but D Jesus also defended his people. It's time to defend all religions, all creeds, all peoples can commiserate with the idea of defending yourself. We have laws in place that defend those who have defended themselves. It is time to put a stop to this. It is time for us to say enough. Because if we do not stop it now, as it's escalating, because we're past the onset, it is now escalating. And when do we hit the boiling point for either end of the spectrum? When is it? that we either have gangs of people out with pitchforks defending themselves and attacking anybody they perceive to be the problem? Or when do we have it where all this violence gets to a point where everywhere is a no-go zone? Everywhere is a massive Sweden. The West turns into a giant Swedish no-go zone. When? when? When do we stop it? Do we allow that to happen? Or do we say these terror attacks, these knife crimes on our people have continued and continued and it's time for us to stop it. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.